Hey everybody, Dave here from Saturday Morning Cartoons, and you are listening to our second mini-episode. We are still trying to come up with some names for these. I don't know what to call it yet. We did have one good suggestion for uh, a midnight snack, which I like. I do love a midnight snack now and then. I know Sean's a fan of the midnight snack, and Baron is definitely a fan of the midnight snack. But Saturday Morning Cartoons midnight snack might be a little too wordy and confusing for people. So, if you have any suggestions, feel free to let us know. You can send them to at Morning Tunes on Twitter. You can email us uh, SaturdayMorningCartoons at gmail.com or find some other interesting ways like, oh, I don't know, Carrier Pigeon or something like that to let us know what you think these mini-episodes should be titled. In the meantime, they're just going to be mini-episodes because that's about as creative as I am at the moment. Uh, for those of you who haven't heard our first mini-episode, what we do, we take a couple minutes out of our day and let you know about A, a contemporary tune that we find funny or interesting, or in the case of last week's episode, Judge Dredd Superfiend, just incredibly brutal and ridiculous, uh, and let you know about it. Uh, we normally don't have time on the regular show where we go back and, and kind of look at nostalgic tunes. We don't have time to just kind of delve into the new stuff, the great stuff that's still being churned out day after day after day on so many different networks and so many different places. So. These mini-episodes are going to give you a chance to uh, check out some new stuff as well. So, that's what we aim to do. We're also going to introduce uh, what we're going to be talking about on the upcoming episode of the podcast. We're going to let you know if there's any episodes that you guys should watch so you can catch up with us and kind of watch along so you know what the hell we're talking about. Because most of the time, we don't know what the hell we're talking about, so maybe you can figure it out from that. Well, while I continue to ramble, let's talk about today's suggestion. Uh, this is one that I'm going to suggest. I actually got to watch the first two episodes of it fairly recently. You may not have heard of it. It's a new Adult Swim uh, late night show. I think it's about 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. on Monday nights called Mike Tyson Mysteries. You may not have heard of that one, but it's definitely a fun one. You should you should check it out. So it's Adult Swim, so Cartoon Network. Mondays at 10 p.m. Right now, I think it's only got two episodes. I don't know if they're going to be uh, making more of them. I don't know how popular it's been. I don't know how many people have watched it. You should definitely give it a chance, though. It's basically, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's Mike Tyson uh, voicing himself as Mike Tyson, uh, which he's got a, a fantastic voice to voice himself, by the way. I don't think he could really pull off any other character, but Mike Tyson as Mike Tyson is fantastic. Uh, he, he doesn't, oh my god, I can't believe I'm about to say this, he doesn't pull any punches, kids. Uh, he, you know, he plays up his past history, he plays up uh, his persona, his, his boxing legend, and all that, but he's just, for some reason in this series, a detective. And, you know, every great detective needs some supporting cast to help him out. So, who better to help him out than his uh, Asian daughter, Young He Tyson, whose name he can never remember, uh, which which leads to some hilarious events. Who else should help him? She's actually probably the most uh, useful person in this team. Everyone else, eh, very strange. I don't know if they're ultimately helpful or not. So, Young He is voiced by Rachel Ramrus. Uh, a voice I'm not too familiar with, uh, but I'm sure if Mike Tyson Mysteries takes off, she'll have great things ahead of her. Names you may recognize, Norm MacDonald. He plays, I kid you not, an alcoholic pigeon uh, with, as you might have guessed, because he's voiced by Norm MacDonald, a very sarcastic tone and edge to him. He, again, doesn't help out a whole lot in these mysteries, but he does provide a lot of comic relief and a lot of an edge and uh, a, lot of, a lot of drinking. A lot of drinking and debauchery coming from that pigeon. One fellow who tries to help out the best that he can is voiced by Jim Rash, who you probably know is Dean Felton on uh, Community. Uh, he, I mean, he should also be known as uh, you know Oscar-winning screenwriter and and uh, a ton of other stuff that this guy has done. But for right now, you know him as the Marquess of Queensbury, who's basically a ghost that has some uh, strange proclivities that uh, Mike Tyson likes to pick on. He just kind of floats in and out of the scene. I wish there was more from Jim Rash in this series because it's completely ridiculous, but there is just enough from him to kind of just flavor the episodes. What episodes, you ask, and what happens in these episodes? Oh, I don't know. Maybe they make some uh, some entries into Cormac McCarthy's work. Uh, perhaps they take on the legend of great chess players like Gary Kasparov. You know, things like that. Things like you would expect Mike Tyson to do in real life. They do on Mike Tyson Mysteries. It's bonkers. It's crazy. It's as nuts as you would expect from Adult Swim. So definitely head over there and check it out. And head over to SaturdayMorningCartoons.com 
where we, we have a uh, review of the series from Allison Keene at Hollywood Reporter. We also have some interviews um, over at Collider.com. I'll have the links up to both of those, so you guys can check them out if you want to know a little bit more about Adult Swim's Mike Tyson Mysteries. And again, that's going to be Monday nights at 10 o'clock on Cartoon Network. Now, as for this week's upcoming episode of the podcast, we're going to be talking Freakazoid. That's right. It's a mid-90s, zany, variety, half-hour of, of uh, cartoon mayhem. Um, some of you may remember it. You probably will recognize the theme song, actually Emmy-winning theme song. Uh, that was a surprise to us and a surprise to the guys as well. Emmy-winning theme song, Emmy-nominated song uh, other, uh, elsewhere in the series. So that's pretty interesting in and of itself. The guys, not fans of this one. Me, it was my suggestion this week, super fan. Absolutely loved it. I loved how insane it was. There's a lot of different types of humor here for different types of people. You may like some of it. You may just completely detest other moments of it. Uh, I implore you to give it a shot, and if you haven't watched it, then definitely revisit the first and second episodes, and if you really, really loved it, or just want to go back and revisit it, I will personally suggest the last episode of the series called Norma Deus. Now, if you want to know about Norma Deus, I'm just going to give you this teaser. Norm Abrams from the New Yankee Workshop appears on the show playing himself and is the eventual hero that saves the day. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you should check this show out. If you love Norm Abrams in the New Yankee Workshop, you should definitely check this show out. Either way, I'd say give it a shot, uh, and then you can let us know if you love it, if you hate it, and then you can listen to me and the guys talk about it and find out what we love and hate. Oh man, it's going to be a good time. This was a fun one for me, even though a little depressing because the guys, not big fans. Anyway, this has been Dave from Saturday Morning Cartoons. Thank you for listening to our second mini-episode. Please send me suggestions for titles. Um, Mini-episode's fine for now, but we got to change it up. So let me know, folks. Good talking to you, and I will talk to you soon on Saturday Morning Cartoons.